Hey everyone, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, well today is a fun day because I just got a postal notice and we have mail folks, we have mail. So I'm going to throw on a non-making shirt. This is one of my husband's old t-shirts that I'm using to make in because um, all my jammies are now destroyed. Covered in glue, spray paint, you name it. They're all in the laundry, some are on the line. You can tell I've been, I've been distressing this morning. My hands are clean folks, that's the stain. So you know I've been up to some shabby or vintage no goodness. Um, if you're a regular, you know I'm busy working on Halloween collabs and some little happy meal I'm trying to finish up. I'm not sure I can, but we'll see. And also finishing up Kathy's swap, which has been a real joy to work on. Both the Halloween collab and my project for Kathy has been a labor of love. But it's been tough, right? I ran out of fabric tack. Then I got Helmer's 450. Then I ran out of Helmer's 450. Now I'm back to EC6000. And holy messy glue. It does work really well. You know, Alice just said this week she loves EC6000 for jewelry making because nothing works better. It, and I told you guys, at my art college, we say EC6000 is the god of glues because it really will adhere leather perfectly and other like non-easily bindable materials. But holy mess. And it stains lace. So you have to be uber, uber, uber careful when using it and no matter how careful I am we all know I'm a messy maker I've worked really hard for this collab I have bettered so many of my skills I'm a much better fussy cutter when I'm patient when I'm patient and I rest my hands I am um, much better at thicking up I'm starting to build interactive things I'm starting to innovate because I've spent time working on skill sets like I made those basic cards to learn how to properly build a card I learned how to back up things many different ways. Now I've learned how to make flips different ways. All this investment and prototyping has so bettered my making skills and I'm super grateful. But one thing I've learned is that I am, if I was slow before, now I'm super slow because I'm judicious now. And being judicious means slow and steady and that means I do not get stuff done quickly. And packaging still takes me forever. I don't know what's up with that, especially when I don't have any ephemera to help me out and I'm innovating. Ugh, then that takes really a long time. But it's worth it. It's all worth it. I am feeling a little homesick today, folks. It's the first time on the whole trip. I was watching all your videos, and normally I'm like really buoyant about it. I gotta tell you, I love autumn in the United States. I love it, and I'm sad. It's the first time it's happened. And it came at a really bad time, because my husband this morning asked me about extending our trip, and I was like, I just made a face. I didn't say anything because we're not even sure I can. He can stay, but I don't know that I can. And he's going to, we're going to go into a government office and find out, but I don't think so, folks. Um, so I'm waiting for them to say no, so I don't have to say no. It's hard, you know, home is where the husband is for sure. You want to be with your family. I love him dearly. He is a very, very good man. And I'm very, very lucky to be in this marriage. It's been a happy marriage, touch wood, for almost 20 years. And we are still happy. So it's a blessing, and I know that in today's world, I am very lucky. I chose well, he chose well, we're a good fit, we're symbiotic, except I, I'm ready to go home. So it's a hard conversation to have with a partner who's enjoying himself and is like, maybe we should just stay an extra two weeks, and I don't want to. I want to go home as planned. So that's awkward and difficult to, a conversation to have. How do I say, honey, I'm homesick, you know, when he's right here? It's hard to explain to him that I love the smell of fall. I love fall in New York. I love fall in Florida. I love fall in the United States. I love Halloween. I love Thanksgiving. I mean, I'm all American that way, folks. And I have been from the day, even before I got there, I knew I wanted to live in the U.S. And I just, I love fall in the U.S. And I miss being there. And this morning I was having this thought where, like, my Dollar Trees get all this stuff in early. And I'm like, by the time I get home, there's going to be no Halloween stuff left. None. And I was like having this like little sad moment. Um, crazy, crazy. I'm here in the Holy Land. It's an amazing adventure, but I'm missing home. I'm missing home, folks. It's not just the glue I'm missing and my supplies. And goodness knows I need some of my tools back because now I realize how valuable those tools are. No, I'm just missing the U.S. Just funny. It just hit me today how much I miss home. So... Yesterday, my husband was like, what do you want to eat? And actually, we walked really far just to go to a New York-style delicatessen because I wanted a sandwich. I wanted a corned beef sandwich, folks. It's crazy. I guess that should have been a hint I was homesick. 
Uh, it was a good sandwich. It wasn't like home, but it was a good sandwich. But I'm ready, I think, folks. I think we're going to have to have that conversation with him whether I want to or not. All of that said, I was super excited. Did you see what Kathy hauled for our swap? I was like, cute Halloween. She was at the DT and she did very well. And she got different stuff than everybody else. So it seems her DT is getting in different stuff than everybody else's DT. Sometimes I watch the DT hauls and I'm like, oh yeah, it's the same stuff Cruz got or the same stuff, whatever. This time Kathy got some new stuff and it was fun to see. She got this really cool cheesecloth webbing. I'm telling you, Kathy, that stuff is magical. If I didn't have what Jelly Bean sent me, I don't know, I would have been in trouble. For one of my projects for you actually two of my projects one for the collab and one for you because they don't sell it here and i needed to distress it and it was thank you jelly bean junction you saved me yet again but kathy hauled this great webbing from the dt folks if you have a dt near you take a look at kathy catsall creates video and see if you can find that webbing because it's perfect for building all sorts of things perfect i do have that little item to share with you later that i innovated thanks to jelly bean it dried but then I added a little more glitter to the tips of the wings this morning so it's still damp. I also finally wrangled, remember I told you the black crepe paper was a little bit less starchy than the orange? Well I just forced myself to learn how to work with it and so I finally was able to make some rosettes and I have ghouly glittered them up in a green on the edges and I stink and love them. Love them! Love them, but I don't know if I have patience to make more than like eight or ten. It took forever, but I got it done, so I'm real happy. I got a bunch of things done, so I have craftiness going on all over the place, all over the place. Um, I'm so sorry again that I'm not entering a lot of challenges. It's not that I'm not interested. I'm so interested. I just don't have supplies or time, folks. I have too much stuff to get done, whether it's finishing up some surprises, or it's working on the collabs, or it's my swap with Kathy or packaging up Miss Sabrina's. I'm still torn about Miss Sabrina's. I may want to bring it home so that I have a few tools to finish up some stuff, or I might send it from here. I have yet not yet decided. We're going to see. It's going to be a last minute decision. The brother-in-law, I'll just remind you, does come on Thursday morning, so I'm going to be pretty unavailable Thursday and Friday just because he takes up all of my attention. He is a, I love him dearly, but he is a 12 hour a day talker and he likes to roam and tour and that just means I'm going to be super duper busy. So I'm getting all my crafting in now and then I'll have to do an uber cleanup and that's okay. That's how it goes folks. That's how it goes. I am off to the post office because I'm hoping it's Alice's entry because she mailed it so long ago but we're also waiting on two others. Let's hope it's one of those three. Let's hope sticky fingers downstairs didn't take it or off the semi-husband and I'll be back on later today. I hope whatever you do today, it makes you so happy. And I hope you innovate lots of new things. And I'll be back on later today. I did put Miss Donna's link and Miss Jelly Beans down below. Again, my apologies, folks. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Happy Tuesday.